Hello everyone, it's me Lazy Dork. I promise it's me. You just can't recognize me because I've utilized the greatest disguising technique known to man. Watch in awe as I transform into the image that you're so comfortable with. It's amazing! Superman is the kind of hero I never really loved. Even in my no one talks to me, I have no friends, I read comics all the time through my tears stage of my late childhood. I think it's lame that he can make up powers as he needs them on the go, like the ability to play the French horn or to drive a tractor. However, I went into the theater with high hopes. You have to respect a major when a major motion studio releases a film like this with no major advertising or hype. I think it's really big of them. Super! After 2 hours and 36 minutes, I felt satisfied, if not totally amped up, although Trivia Girl, to be fair, loved it. I came away with a healthy respect for Lex Luthor, though. I mean, he's just a human criminal. Straight up, with no powers, just some nice suits and a goofy take on mayhem. And he decides to take on Superman, who has super strength, can fly, shoot heat rays from his eyes, breathe ice, is invulnerable and impervious to pain, has excellent media coverage, a perfect smile and a pretty curl in his forehead. And almost kills him. I found myself rooting for Lex, actually. If you're rooting for Superman, then you're rooting for the Yankees to win the World Series, Brazil to win the World Cup, although that's not going to happen this year, and the Oscars to deny me press coverage again in 2007. You then just don't like surprises. The best line in the movie comes when they pipe in the classic Superman dialogue, and you hear Jor-El say these classic words to his son. Even though you've been raised as a human being, you are not one of them. They can be a great people, Kal-El, if they wish to be. They only lack the light to show them the way. For this reason, above all, their capacity for good, I have sent them you, my only son. Yes, the imagery is pretty thick. You'd have to be pretty thick not to feel the movie makers beating you over the head with it. But from the fat kids I saw running in the movie theater lobby screaming, Superman, Superman! I'd say the venerable hero and icon has once again won, won himself many converts, young and old. As for me, I'll take Batman. Here's Trivia Girl. This week's film, Superman Returns, is based on characters born back in the day to DC Comics. While Marvel Comics has certainly made a dent in the box office in recent years, DC is trying to give them a run for their money by reintroducing the Superman and Batman franchises, as they've always been the most popular of the DC characters. In fact, in this new Superman film, director Brian Singer even makes a small, quick reference to fellow DC superhero Batman. Give the reference and where it appeared in the film. Be the first to answer correctly and win a LazyDork.com shot glass. Email answers to trivia at LazyDork.com.